Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use Ucheck. Ucheck is a software updates manager. It's able to find all the installed software on your machine and provide updates for the outdated ones. You can also install new software or uninstall existing software. Let's see what it looks like. To use Ucheck properly, please restart as administrator because otherwise you won't be able to use all the bulk installation and bulk updates. You can also use the right click start as admin as usual if you want. This is a dashboard. First hit the scan button to run the scan. As you can see, it's very fast. It already found some updates and listed all the installed programs. OK, it's done. So we have eight pending updates, 237 programs installed on the machine, and 116 programs available for download. We'll see that later. Let's first take a look at the updates. I'm going to make it wider okay so here we have all the updates pending in the real world when you want to update a program you need to open the program and hopefully there is a link to update it or sometimes there is a link to the website where you need to download manually the update and install it with a check you don't need to do this simply check all the software you want to update. You can also use the bulk selection and click update selected. It will update all the software of the list at once and silently. There is an action button. This is for advanced purpose in case you need to download and install the software manually. You can also skip an update uh, like if there's uh, an update known to be broken or that you don't want to install, you can just skip it or you can exclude a software totally. It won't show in a list anymore. You can manage exclusions from the settings here. There is nothing. But if I had to add an exclusion with these buttons, it would be shown in this table here. Okay, so I will run the updates. Let's start. When an item is purple, it means it was downloaded and it's currently being installed. Most of the updates are done silently, so they don't show as, as a window or as a pop-up. It's running in the background. When the update is installed, this item will turn green and it will go to the next item. Let's wait a minute for the updates to finish. Here we go. Are the updates installed? I have two failing updates here in red because of network issue. Don't pay attention to it. So now I'm going to show you how to use the uninstaller. This is in the install tab. There is all the software installed on the machine. In purple, you can see all the software compatible with your check. You can also filter programs to add Microsoft products or to show only compatible. There is also a search bar. Let's say I want to remove Notepad++. I can find it easily like this. So if you want to uninstall a software, just right click on it 
and use the uninstall but it will run the uninstaller Okay, Notepad++ is installed, is uninstalled. So I'm going to reinstall it to show you how it works. So first of all, since the, the, the current state is when Notepad++ was already installed, we need to rerun the scan. My two failing updates are still showing. This is normal. And now I'm going to reinstall Notepad++. So go to the Download tab. And here's the list of all the software that you can install from our server. In purple, this is all the software already installed on the machine. As you can see, there is a lot of them already. And my need is to install Notepad++ so I can search it in the bar, in the search bar, and here it is in development category. You can click on multiple items if you want. Here I just need Notepad++, but there is no limit to it. You can basically click all the utility if you want. And then once your choice is done, click on next. And this is a summary of all the items you choose. It's basically the same window as for updates. There is an action button where you can download and install manually, or you can use the install all to bulk install all the software. This is what I'm going to use for this example. So once again, I don't need to go on the official website. I can open it if I don't know what the software is and I'm interested in. Uh, you can also check the license, uh, see if you have the right to use it. Um, yeah, you, you have pretty much all the information you need, the category, uh, the, the company that provides the software, and except that you don't have to do everything manually, just use the bulk installer. Notepad++ is installed. You can check that it's here. It's back. It's working. So I'm all good. There's a bunch of settings that you can use uh, to, to run. You check at startup. You can also run scheduled scan. Like if you want to check for updates every 30 minutes, you can do it. Just click on minutes and select the number you want. This enables the, the scheduler automatically. Um, the cache is only with the technician version. So if you purchase a technician version, you can specify a cache folder. Uh, usually we use some shared folder, network share. Uh, where all your machines on, of your network can share this cache. So like if you have one machine updating one software, it will fetch it to the cache first. And later when all the other machines need to download the same update, they will just fetch it from the cache. It, it will be much, much faster. And same again, there is a scheduled task to clean up the cache. Like you can clean up every day, every week. Uh, it removes all the version of the same software, but the latest. Like if you have been used, you check for a month, you may have two or three different versions of Firefox in the cache. When you clean up the cache, it will just keep the latest. That's very useful if you want to, to, minimize, to minimize the size of the cache. Uh, exclusion, I talked about it earlier. And there is a support form and the about us section. I think that's it. I've shown you all the basic features of your check. 
you can take a look for yourself. Um, the, the free version is free, of course. You don't have the download section, but it will update all your software for free. So take a look at it. It's free. Just give it a try. And I see you in the next video.